welcome to the How to Jimmy show. This is our second show, and I couldn't be more excited. We are having such a great time finding guests, talking to old friends, bringing in every buddy in Las Vegas and you know I've been around a while so I know a lot of people and some incredible performers. Uh, today's show is no exception. We have some fabulous guests, both very dear friends of mine. One uh, I'm sure that a lot of you know, uh, he goes, his name is Jim McCoy. He's a professional, he's an actor, he does drag, he does marketing, he does a little bit of everything, but his drag name, which is one of my favorite that I love, is called Norma Lea Mann. Get it? Norma Lea Mann. Well, you'll see. He's also known as the Bearded Lady in some circles, but he's a hoot, and we've done a lot of things together. So we'll be talking with Jim Norma in just a little bit, and then, wow, how excited am I? Literally, I met this lady... Um, we were trying to figure out when we had actually met. We couldn't quite remember. It was many years ago. <laughs> we both used to drink a lot, but and, and not that we stopped. But I'm just saying, <laughs> her name is Vita Drew. When I met her, her name was Vita Karimbi, and she had been. Well, she has done it all. She's she's won Emmy awards for doing voiceovers and commercials and writing. She's performed in many many shows. She's currently one of the stars of Menopause the Musical, playing at Harris, and we'll be speaking with her in a little bit. And we're gonna dish the dirt because she and I, you get us started, and we just don't stop. But I do want to mention right here that we are. Uh, Completely launched now with the magazine that started all this, including the How to Jimmy Show, What's Up Dot Vegas. Say it with me, What's Up Dot Vegas. You want to remember it? You can use your own uh, whatever it takes. You know, like What's Up Dot Vegas, <laughs> or What's Up Dot Vegas. <laughs> anyway, go there. The magazine is chalked full of just about anything you can think of entertainment wise here in Las Vegas shows uh, commentaries interviews with different celebrities uh, what's going on on the strip you know we read it in the paper but our magazine has the ability to have the in, kind of an inside scoop of some of the stuff that's going on and that's why I love they've asked me to write a monthly column uh, called how to Jimmy Vegas that's what we're calling my show how to Jimmy Vegas and uh, it's literally all that means is my name is Jimmy, and and I've lived here for 40 years. I moved here in 1980-something. I don't know. You do the math. But I love Las Vegas. The moment I moved here, I knew this was going to be my home for the rest of my life. I'm originally from Texas, as a lot of you know. Yeehaw! Scrape the shit off your boots. Oh, I said shit. I'm sorry, shit. I'm so sorry. Anyway... <laughs> We try to keep this show PG rated. I don't know why, because kids ain't going to watch it. They might. But we, uh, uh, the magazine is featuring my column, and I get to talk about all the local drag shows. Not just drag. Our focus is on drag for some un some reason. But we talk about all the other entertainers. The, the, the one, not the stars. You know about uh, you know Madonna and, and Celine, all those big stars, and Barry Manilow. They get a lot of publicity. These are for the the real stars of Vegas. I'm talking about Mark O'Toole and the new composer showroom where they have all these amazing Joey Arias and, and, and Tony Arias and, and, um, so many there. I've talked to all of them. Uh, there's a drag show, as you know, at Senor Frogs, uh, that features mostly RuPaul drag stars, including, uh, uh, Coco Montrese, my dear friend Larry Edwards, Hot Chocolate, Roxy Lords Brooks, some amazing entertainers. They're there two or three days a week. They are all have agreed to come on the show, so just stay tuned. We're going to do a lot, and we're just going to have fun. The show is all about having fun. So if we say something inappropriate, we'll probably edit it out. And if you hear it, well, you can talk about it. I don't care. It's fine. Uh, I did want to share this real quick. Uh, some friends of mine on Facebook – I have a lot of friends that write to me and, and, and include me in their post. And the hot take from a, one, of my, one of my friends out of uh, Texas uh, said this, drag is so overly saturated, it's losing the magic. Well, I kind of agree with that because there's so much now. Uh, experiencing drag queens used to be like seeing a unicorn. It was very rare. Not today. There are drag queens everywhere, honey. You go to the 7-Eleven, go to the bank, whatever, there's a drag queen or something. I don't know. Uh, seems like we have a cesspool of, you know, just half-done performances. Looks at, uh, uh, easily overlooked. It's all about the talent, kids. 
You can paint and try on new wigs and looks, but your talent has to come from here and get over the footlights and go out there. And that's how you get an audience and a fan base. I think all of you know that, but there are, unfortunately, there are some newcomers and girls that are trying real hard that get disappointed and and disheartened because they're not getting the attention and the bookings that they want to do. Don't give up. Always keep getting better and network, network, network. If you get booked in a show and they send you the ad, you immediately start posting that ad and putting it out there and calling your friends, your family, people you like, people you don't like. Say, get down here and buy a drink so I can work next week, too. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, guys. Okay, let's see what else is it. Oh, somebody asked me, Shade Grove, my good friend Shade. She said, is all drag valid? What do you mean valid? Well, yes, it's all valid, but everybody starts somewhere. Um if you are an artist, you know, and you paint a beautiful picture after you've been painting for 30, 40 years, all of a sudden you create a masterpiece. But if you're four or five years old and you do a painting, you know, it doesn't belong in a museum at the Louvre or something. It belongs on your mom's refrigerator. <laughs> you get the idea, right? So um, just, just if you're going to dedicate yourself to it and spend the money, and trust me, kids, it costs a lot. It just does. If you do it right, you're going to spend some bucks. That's why you need supporters. You need sponsors. You need people that are behind you. Get out there. Put yourself on the line. My dear friend told me when I was a kid, she said, you know what? It doesn't take a lot of talent to do anything, especially in entertainment. It takes a lot of balls and a lot of guts. Get on that stage and put it out there. Good or bad, you'll figure it out eventually, what's good and what's bad. God knows I've said some stuff that I damn well should not have said, but I don't say it anymore. I learned my lesson. We're going to go on. Uh, real quick, a lot of you know about Tony James. My good friend Tony James has been uh, uh, hosting uh, uh, the original lip sync contest at the New Gypsy. The New Gypsy. Oh, wow. If you haven't been, Beautiful. Did a gorgeous job. And there's a long history with that. But Tony started this lip sync contest, which she used to do a few years ago. It was one of the biggest contests in town. But this time they kind of upped the ante. So every uh, for the next six weeks, well, this will be the sixth week coming up. They have they only allow six, five or six, five or six, I think it's five contestants. And whoever wins that week gets a thousand bucks. That's not bad. Plus the tips, you know. Uh, and then after the first six weeks, on the seventh week, all the six semifinals come back to compete for a grand prize of $2,500 and a lot of publicity. So it's worth it. There's been five winners so far. They are, hang on, sorry, I'm an old woman. Uh, they are uh, Natalia uh, Starr, one of my good friends, Brianna Douglas, Beyonce, she, Oh, she's so good as Beyonce. Lexis Chandelier, LaWanda Jackson, and recently, Reese Sexton. I've worked with all these girls many times. There's one spot left this week. I don't know when this airs, but if it isn't, there's one more spot. Um, and we're rooting for everybody. And I will be at the finals. I hope you will be, too. That's going to be a lot of fun. So right now, we're going to uh, take a little break. And we're going to be right back. I just want to uh, do it. I want to show an ad from one of my dear friends who helps with all the stuff it takes to put this show together. Her name is Tracy. She goes by the word, uh, by the name Gypsy, because she is a psychic. She can read your mind. She can read your tarot cards. And she's not shy. She'll read your beads if you want her to. <laughs> so uh, here's a word from Gypsy. One of our sponsors here at How to Jimmy Vegas is the incredible Dark Lady Gypsy. She's my personal friend. Uh, Tracy Fawn is her, is her name. But she has registered the name Dark Lady Gypsy. The word Gypsy, who you think a lot of people have claim to, she has been doing this for over 35 years. Uh, she is truly has an insight as a psychic that I've never seen. And I've, I've met and known a lot of psychics. Please do yourself a favor, get a hold of Dark Lady Gypsy and uh, have her, talk, you could talk to her, she'll do a tarot card reading, she'll do a reading with you on the phone, she does horoscopes, she's with top 
of the line when it comes to psychic readings. And she's very affordable, and she's my dear friend, and I trust everything she says. She's helped me a lot in my career, and I hope she helps you with yours. Dark Lady Gypsy. Hey, we are having a good time today. Thank you for joining us for How to Jimmy Vegas. We are part of, like I said earlier, a brand new magazine that launched called What's Up Dot Vegas. What's up Dot Vegas? Or if you're, you know, ghetto or whatever, you go, What's up Dot Vegas? Whatever you are, whatever makes you remember it, check out our magazine. It's chock full of information, everything from shows, inside scoops of, of who's doing what and where the shows are, interviews with stars and, and, and local people and which hotel is going to be torn down for another ballpark or whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, I love living in Las Vegas. I've lived here a long, long time. Uh, they always ask me how long, and I got moved here in 1984. You do the math. And it's hard to believe that I'm only 42 years old. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we are here. I have two wonderful guests today. Uh, uh, I don't even know how to start. I'm so excited about both of them. My first guest today is a friend of mine that we met, I don't know, 20 plus years ago. We started out doing benefit shows together for all the different charities. He'll tell you all about it in a minute. Ultra drag queen, ultra drama, ultra, she does it all. And he is also a man. His real name is Jim McCoy, but his stage name, and you'll see why, is Norma Leah Mann. Norma Leah Mann. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Norma Leah Mann. Hi, kids. <laughs> How are you? Hey, hey Jimmy. Hey, Norma. <laughs> we always do so much impromptu stuff, you know. I love that. Yeah, I love that. Let's, let's do a song. What is it? Um, um, we're you still did, here. What's yeah, that? Yeah, good, good times and bad times. times. We've, We've seen, seen it all, all but we're, we're here. here. And we'll we're queer. queer. <laughs> oh, my. I love that. I love that. You. It's low Norma, enough. I, Norma, now do you wait? Let me just ask you, right get my beads over the boobs. Yes, there we go. So there much. we go. This is what drag is all about. I took Liz, pill, Liz Taylor diet pills when I was a teen. Well, it kind of shows. I know, you know Blue I know. diamonds. And is that her favorite? I'm still ever? bloated, and I still love construction boys. You know, she was always a beautiful goddess. Love her. And when her. she gained weight, Joan Rivers had a field day oh. making fat jokes. But she was still gorgeous. Do you remember her fa Joan Rivers' favorite fat joke about, about uh, Elizabeth Taylor? Elizabeth Taylor was so fat, she'd stand in front of a microwave and go, Hurry! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Off subject. Uh, hey, thank you for joining me thank today. Thank you for having me. It's great to have you. i got to ask you right here, right up front. Uh -oh. Jim McCoy. In the hot you seat. You've got your finger in absolutely everything in this town and have for years. And you created a persona, and you call her Norma, Norma Lee, a man. You dress in drag. You put on all the makeup, all the feathers, all the bees, all the pearls, but you never shave your beard. Never. Tell everybody about why that. Norma was born at a bear event, Gur Wolf. If you want to know what bears are, go online, Google it, ask Siri. Right. Um, and it was a charity event for, for kids affected, inflicted with HIV and AIDS in Ohio. And Norma was born, my friend Corey Notman, his drag name is Shirley not a man. Surely not a man. Oh, surely not a man. And yeah. I love old Hollywood. And he goes, well, you're a Norma Desmond. And I said, yes. <laughs> and he said to me, he goes, Norma? Leaman, Norma Leah man, uh, and it. Norma was born. It, and it's, uh, yes. and yes. you've not stopped since. Not stopped now, since. Now, when did you first adopt that name? How many years ago? Um, we literally within probably they would invite me to go back to do the show in Ohio. Right. Um, probably three years later, and oh. then in Vegas, I've become everybody's favorite Auntie Norma. Auntie Norma. Auntie Norma. Right. Auntie Norma. Don't you write a column? Or a, I did a, a while ago, but that's so much work. Ask Auntie Norma, yeah. and they'd yeah. ask you the same old sexual Stupid. questions over and over. Yes, we thought it would be Auntie Norma. Should I date this loser or not? Right. Yeah. Yes. We thought and you it would go, be, Auntie Norma says you're an idiot. Do it. <laughs> we thought it would be like sex in the city. Yeah. But 
I wasn't young and hip enough, and that's when like this social media device thing took off. And I'm sure. like, they want you to do this and that, and you've got to have this many. And I'm like, I'm not. I don't say go to the bottom, subscribe. You right. know, no. I gotta go to the bottom and pay. That's what makes you so fun. <laughs> Every try. show that you do that I've seen, I miss so many because you're everywhere all the time. And the thing that you and I have in common the most, I think, are benefit shows. Yes. And I mentioned this on our, yes. my last show, is that it's no secret that any organization, gay, straight, blue, green, whatever, want to raise some bucks and they want to raise it quick. It seems to me the first people they call are drag queens, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? Do you, yes. do you feel? Yes. And there's nothing yes. wrong with that yes. because we always want a, a, a format, a, a venue to show off our craft right. Right. And, to, and to meet new people and to help raise for a good cause. I don't mind doing that at all. But, you know, if that's all you do, yeah. then... This look in this cheap costs a lot. As I go, look in this cheap costs a lot of money. Dolly Parton always says that. That's right. No, I've I've discovered over the years there are some incredible charities. I love. That's right. Uh, my focus. Oh, news. I don't have my crown yet. I've been elected. My husband and I are Mr. and Mrs. Las Vegas Pride oh. 2024. For the 40th anniversary of Pride, Would, 40th anniversary of Pride honey, in Las Vegas. No one deserves it more. You've so I always said, been there. I said, let me have a focus. Let me have something to focus on. Right. I want to focus on kids. The yeah. kids nowadays, our homeless youth population oh. in Las Vegas is terrible. Our mental health, gay, straight, no matter what, young and old, our mental health, we need to focus on that. And I'm really, after my mom and dad both were diagnosed with dementia and Alzheimer's, we've lost my dad. God bless you, daddy. Love you, daddy. Um, the aged, the, the elderly, especially in our queer community, those are my three focuses. And those, once you got those focuses together, you've got your family going. That's right. So when I go out, I'm like, hey, I, I always try to make a point of saying, my tips a percentage yeah. of my tips go back. The other percentage goes to fill the gas tank. That's and look, right. And look and this bad. And some cheap pearls. Yes. I some beautiful yes. pearls. <laughs> but I think it's very important as a performer. It is. Um, oh, I, for sure. I don't consider myself a drag queen, even though I'm in that category. I'm a performer, and you I love... You are an entertainer. Yes. yes. And I love the fact that you adopted the name Normally a Man, and you still don't shave your beard off. That's a big trend now. It's been around for yeah, a while. Yeah, There's, it's yeah, not anything yeah, new. Yeah. But you took it to the nth level, as they say, because you always do. And after a while... This is a terrible comparison. After a while, when you're there with your eyelashes on and your hair and your, all your drag, you forget that you're still wearing a beard. Mm -hmm. There's mm -hmm. a big, there's a lot yep. of people across yep. the world, yep. the nation, that do that. Yes. And you go, so what? I don't yeah. want to shave my beard. I got to go to work at the office. Yeah, and they consider exactly. me butch. They think I'm straight at the office. One year, I don't know what office you work One at, year, way, 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 way back, <laughs> one of the drag queens at a, one of the local clubs going, I just can't stand it. You got lipstick on your mustache and you're not doing anything about it. I'm like, I'm Norma. I don't have to worry about any of it'll that. It'll wash out. Yeah, it'll wash out. <laughs> but it's been it's been fun it's been fun well to be brutally honest uh you are the first person that that does this gender trend whatever you call man with a beard i right. say that uh but you know what the bearded lady at the circus or whatever has always been a big deal recently i saw a commercial with you doing a promo for a t one of a top boxer are we allowed oh, to talk about yeah, that uh, yes it was it was amazing it was it was the world championship of boxing yes uh, there my camera and i got a call from a friend he's he and i, I can't remember his name it's it's crazy hispanic there's yeah. lots of syllables and i have hector <laughs> Hector but somebody. he's known as he's known as like the the ringleader. Yo, I saw so the commercial. it was a parade, but literally. The, it starts backstage before he yes. comes, up, walks to the audience like boxers do. Yes. puts on a show, and there's a girl on stilts, and there's a hula hoop, and there's a magician, and yes. then you turn around, you're the bearded lady, like yes. in the circus. Ninety, and you're perfect. It's Ninety perfect. seconds of international it's, international television it's beautiful and i had friends going we saw you we saw you on espn I, it blew I was like me away. Yeah, who I would know I'm never proud little of boy from ohio going All to vegas that. dressed as a bearded lady gets on espn with a boxer yeah. beating somebody up. i am an athletic supporter i just want to you, you know well, i love I a knew, good athletic I, I supporter i had a feeling that yes, you were yes. yes she's naughty uh, too. wait a minute i don't want to let you go but i'm going to make oh. sure that i guess uh 
past you. Oh, it is water. It is. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. It's just water. (laughs) We have our new How to Jimmy Cups. Mm. We're working on them. And we got the What's Up Dot Vegas. Wait, have you seen our magazine? I have. It's amazing, right? I, I love old school. Give me a magazine to read. Yeah. Give me a digital magazine to read. Uh, don't give me newspaper. Newspapers are way too big. Right, right, right. I'm old school. I I'm miss my flip that. phone. One of the questions I was going to ask you was, and I did, you, know, you already said you're married. Yes. How long have you been married to uh, your husband's name? Uh, uh, Derek Guerrero, yes. Mr. Las Vegas, probably 2024. Hi, Mr. Okay. Um, he's not He's not my, my, my stage husband. He's okay. not my drag husband. <laughs> There's a separation of church and state. He does help zip up the back fat every once in well, a while. Well, that's what husband. Yes. I, I, my husband, Jimbo, yep. he's only there to drive me there to the gig, get me home safe, and zip me up, load and unload the and car. And go. Get me out of the trunk get and go. Get the hell out of there. That's we have right. been together. We were, we're an old couple. We've been legally married over 15 years. We were grandfather claused in after California and the Prop oh, okay. 8 and all that fun oh, stuff. I didn't know. But we've known each other for almost, I think, 22 years. Like me and Jimbo. Yeah. We met yeah. in 1991. Yeah. We'd never been apart, but we couldn't yeah. legally get married. Was it 2008 when yes. they finally yes. California? Yes. Yes. Anyway, I'm going to ask you this one last question. Uh, we covered all my questions. I didn't have to look at my notes because well, You're we're good. such good friends. We could just talk all day. Are you wearing I'm underwear gonna today? I'm going to have Vita uh, no. Karimbi Drew on in a minute. Right and, overhead. Uh, we're the same way. We're Are you probably, wearing underwear today? I always ask you I that. always wear a depend. I mean, I, I depends. depends. I mean, I, I, I depends yes. on what the underwear is. Yeah. And okay, I've got, okay, you know, good. like we do, yeah. a, a pantyhose, a tights, tights first, three pairs of pantyhose, uh, a girdle, yep. right, and then a waist cincher, and then I take it all off and say, screw but I'll wear a long pants. Yep. I don't care. And that keeps, anyway. Peter, keeps Peter, Paul, and Mary backstage. That's exactly mm-hmm. right. Mm-hmm. What's that old Kenny Kerr? Like, remember Kenny Kerr? Oh, I loved Kenny Kerr. Kenny Kerr was the queen of the strip for so many years. A dear friend of mine. You knew him. Yep. yep. His favorite line in his show, Boylesque, was, uh, and he would, he would, Asked to have a question and answer period. And every night, Kenny would sit on the stool and go, okay, if you have any questions, blah, 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 blah. And, Every time somebody would shout out from the audience, where do you put it? And he would say, where do you want it? Yeah. <laughs> I always thought that was brilliant. Anyway, one more question for you. Uh, I just don't want to, what would I want to I was going to ask you if there's anything that makes you really mad or upset because we all have well, a we, little we, something. We were talking about that. We were talking back yeah. and forth online before this. Um, there are things that frustrate me. Right. And the older I get, I call it the old the old lady, old man syndrome. Not a Karen syndrome. No, gotcha. But there are times where I, I have to take a step back. Yep. And I get my, my, my thumbs off of the texting. I love that. And you I said take that. a deep breath. Yes. And and there's a there's a, a thing that that I read more about called let them. If somebody's doing this to you and it interferes with whatever, let them. Let them. It's out of your control. Absolutely. My my mantra has been for the last several years, bless and release. Exactly. Um, there are things that I'm very opinionated about because I've been around for a while. Yep. Uh, especially with charity work. I, I want to know where the money's going, oh. what the dollar's doing, and, and oh. I have every right. Praise the Lord you yeah. said that. Yeah, it's very important. It's very important. you and I have been in this town long enough to know that some of the money has not gone where it was supposed yeah. to have gone, yeah. and that truly pisses me yeah. off. Yeah. Big time. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm you're sorry. Not, no, it's, it's very important. <laughs> as And even the young kids yeah. who are coming up in today, and I heard you earlier talking about RuPaul. I think that was a wonderful thing RuPaul did for the drag world. Yes, things are oversaturated. It's like when we had cigar bars that came to Las Vegas. Yeah. Every corner had a cigar bar. And there's enough drag for everyone. What I miss is the old school theatrical drag. That's uh, us. And, and that's, that's why oh, I I, I'm going to plug my show at the Phoenix. Old Broads, Ballads and Booze. The tagline is over 40 in bed by 9. It's an early show. All the girls in my show, or guys, are over 40, and I do old school music. If it's past 1980, yep. it's got to be a remix, so it sounds like it's uh, something Benny Goodman would do. That's right, and, and I'm actually in your next show on St. Patrick's, Patrick's Day. Day. Oh, girl. I'm, no, I'm not over 40 uh, yet, but I'll do yeah, the show yeah. anyway. It's okay. St. Patrick's I Day, is, I, it's, we're going to be green by the end of that night. The last time I yeah. did your show was uh, just it was a fun. Hoot. It always is fun. It was always fun. fun. And always the crowd fun. is uh, appreciative that yes. they're hearing... Patula Clark 
downtown. I sang Petula Clark lip synced. And people were like, oh, I remember that song. Remember My that mom song. used to play that song. And I'm like, that's why I want to bring back You know you're old when your fans say, I remember my I'm mom used to play that song. <laughs> on an eight track Honey, we could talk all day. I, I've got to let you go. I love you. Ladies I love and you. gentlemen, I want to thank my dear friend, Jim McCoy, Norma, Auntie Norma, for being on the show today. Girl, I love you so I much. Love you too. And we'll be together at the Phoenix Club on St. Patrick's Day, the 17th. 17th. Uh, Sunday. Starts Sunday. at 3 o'clock. Starts at 3. Yeah, and you've got tons of other shows. Yep. Yep. You have a website? You uh, have a- find Norma Leaman on Facebook. Norma Leaman. L L Y A M A N. Norma Leaman? Leaman. Miss Leaman? Yeah. I appreciate it. Not you. normally. I got you. It's just Norma. Just Norma. Like Norma Desmond. Miss. I'm yes. ready for my close up. There's the spot. <laughs> we do I love that you well. so much. Hey guys, we're gonna we're gonna go for a quick break. We will be right back and stay tuned. There's a lot more fun coming here to the How to Jimmy Show. How to Jimmy? How to Jimmy? I thought you Jimmy. did. Hello. We look good. Look at that. Oh no. Much better. Hello, my name is Mary McElhatton. I am the host of the Permission Mission Show. We air every single week on Friday, 11 a.m. Pacific Time with the www.dbtv.com and also my Permission Mission Facebook page. Permission Mission is a platform that we are able to talk about mortality openly, boldly, bravely, because it is something that's happening all the time. And to know more about it is going to help every family out. Thank you for joining me again, Mary McElhatton, the host for the Permission Mission Show. Hey, we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for tuning in for the How to Jimmy Show. And as I told you earlier, we're part of a brand new magazine that's launched called what's up dot vegas what's up dot vegas go there and learn all about the stuff you don't necessarily read about in the paper because that's what our magazine's all about my show is all about interviewing and talking about current events especially i don't know why they wanted me to do this anything to do with drag you know i don't know why they say that because you know sometimes this is a hard job i'm just saying <laughs> anyway <laughs> Thank you. Now, today I have two amazing guests that are going to join me. We're going to chat for a few minutes about their careers and who they are and how they got started here in Las Vegas. My second guest today, ladies and gentlemen, is one of my truly dearest friends in the world. We met, we were talking the other day. When did we first meet? Neither one of us could remember, but we know it's been a long, long time, 20 plus, 25 plus years. She worked in shows. I was doing lacage and and touring and she was working everywhere. But we know, we know is that not only are she and I close, dear friends, we confide and dish the dirt almost every day, my family and her family, we're all meshed together. We're all one. And I love friendships like that. I hope you have that in your life. Right now, I want to introduce my dear sister, and I mean it, the one and only Vita Drew. Hey, girl. Hello. Hey, girl. Hey. Hey, girl. hey. <laughs> you look wonderful, Mama. So do you. you. Well, thank you. You know, I had to have you do. Your hair is always so nice and quaffed Thanks, and beautiful. darling. And your makeup. I taught you how to Honey, do that. You've right? taught me everything, you know. <laughs> Please. Well, you're the real McCoy. I mean, you are the Vita. Oh. Well, now, you were, before you got married, we'll talk about that in a minute. When you got married, your name was Vita Karimbi. 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 CCC. And that's right. And you worked. Tell us. Tell just real quick. Tell us when you got into show business, and I know it was just recently. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, well, actually, I got into show business as a violinist. Oh. Uh, I had been playing piano my whole life. I was a little child prodigy, but my mother was a violinist at the Las Vegas Hilton, which is now the Westgate, and um, they needed an extra violinist, and I could play a little bit and I ended up joining the musicians union when I was 13 years old and the first job I ever played professional job on the strip was for Steve and Edie wow. at the Las Vegas Hilton oh, on the violin and Steve just recently he just oh, passed away I, 
I were, loved he and they, he. Yeah, they were, were amazing. Favorites. Yeah, Both amazing. Yeah. A lot of people from today don't know who they were, but they were just amazing. They're like the Justin Timberlake and the Jessica Biel of yesteryear. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Edie Gourmet is the one that got me into drag because when when she sings, it's so oh, she's so got a fantastic brilliant and voice, bombastic yeah. and fabulous. Her and Ethel Merman, you yeah, know, that's well, my, those she's are got my a, mentors. That's true, but I I love her voice. Her voice she's was beautiful. amazing. Yeah. She rest in peace anyway, wherever she God is, floating Steve. around. He, yeah. They were a great couple, and he was very funny. Yeah. You know that they used to have a, a monthly uh, comedy meeting with like Jack Benny and Charlie Callis, Johnny Carson, all the comedians of yesteryear. Again, right. not to quote myself, but uh, he was the only non-comedian that they would invite because oh. he was so naturally funny. Naturally funny. Yeah. yeah. And a brilliant pianist on top of that. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. we've it. all got hidden talents, honey. Well, you certainly do, lady. <laughs> you certainly do. Uh, speaking of that, uh, I mentioned in the earlier in the show that you have won Emmy Awards. Now, tell us about that. Uh, well, I was lucky enough to win. I, I used to work a lot with Fox 5, and I was asked to... Uh, write a song for a show they were doing and uh, my dear friend Mark Whitehead he recently passed away a few months ago it was um, it was gonna be a, a New Year's show that didn't really have a title and he asked me to write a song for it and subsequently it was at um, what was Sasha's the drag bar oh speaking of drag yeah, or the, the gay bar the in the Fruit Loop, Loop. Yeah, it's no Fruit longer Loop. there now I think it's something else it is it's changed um, names a few yeah, times yeah correct yeah. Um, but so we I I had this strange little character I had created that I did on the ships named Bunny Lachey and she was kind of it was my drag <laughs> okay. blonde and buxom and she would just kind of play the piano and like crack jokes and a lot of political stuff a lot yeah. of like current event stuff just crazy stupid stuff and he fell in love with her and built the whole show around nice. her, Bunny Lachey. Right, right. And I subsequently, we did it for three years and we won uh, like a total of 10 Emmys. That's amazing. It was amazing. No, yeah. it was amazing. Yeah. And I didn't even know about that About that when I first met you. We met, I, we, we literally don't remember the day, but I know, I want to tell this drink. story real quick, if you don't mind. I produced a show um, years ago. Do you remember the year by any chance? Mm -mm. 20 years ago? 15 years ago? There's a show called Naked Boys Singing. And oh. it's exactly what it, yes. it said. Naked Boys Singing. It that played was prior off, to It played off Broadway for me. It might still be there. Years and years. And I saw the play, uh, the, the musical, and I thought, Naked Boys, and that's exactly what it is. The boys are naked. And they, <laughs> but it doesn't have... As the, But it's not necessarily sexual at all. No. It's just them singing songs about daily lives. And one of the songs is called, I'm the Maid. What is it called? I'm um, the, I really do enjoy my life. I'm the Naked Maid. I am the Naked Maid. Yeah. <laughs> So talking about how guys would hire him to come clean their house as long as he was naked. Mm -hmm. And they didn't try Which to... Which was very did, popular in New York back in the day. Yes, well, mm -hmm. it is, still is, trust me. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> one night, one night. Now, Spencer Baker, am I saying that right? Correct. My good friend Spencer Baker, a brilliant musician, was helping us with the show. It comes with a full musical score, and it, uh, like any Broadway musical would be, and one, and Spencer was the accompanist for the whole show, random 95 minutes, and it was one song after the other, and uh, one night Spencer got very, very sick, and he could not come perform he was I was a hospital something something bad happened he's fine now but at that night years ago uh we were in a bind because we sold out the show was sold out so spencer said call vita call vita and i went well vita she can she, trust me just call <laughs> vita well, we did. We met that afternoon. Uh, the piano, the score, you know, on the piano is like this. And she comes in and she plays a couple of notes and she goes, I go, do we need to run it? She goes, no, I got it. I said, oh, honey, there's so much, so many nuances and starts and stops. She goes, it's all here in the, in the uh, uh, what's it called? Score. It's the all score. here in the score. Correct. And, okay, fine. This lady <laughs> sat down. The show started. The overture started. And she didn't miss one well, note. I well, I think you're exaggerating a little. There was, was a couple amazing, of clams, though. but we did. It was pretty it amazing. It was amazing, what, and I'll never forget. My uh, a good friend of mine used to say that if a bird pooped on manuscript paper, I could read it. <laughs> okay. So thanks, thanks, mom, wherever you are for that skill. But you have a true natural knack for knowing what note should probably come next, and, and of well, especially if play, it's written down in front of you. Well, that too, but that too. But even if somebody <laughs> somebody screws up on stage and skips a verse, you go, oh, I know where you are, honey. Yeah. 
yeah. Because that you and I've done that. Well, we both have good ears, you yeah. know. Well, thank and you. acting is all about listening, right. and so is music. Well, there's no there's no secret that you and I are known to break into song at any given time. Oh, not us. Bum 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 wheel. Always be bosom buddies, friends, sisters, and pals. We will always be bosom buddies. If life should reject you, there's me to protect you. See, we could just do that. <laughs> I love you so I much. Love you too, we have sis. so, much, you are so fun. much fun. Uh, Vita has truly become a part of my family, like I said earlier, and there's so much to tell. Now, let's talk about it real quick. Okay. Uh, you... Oh, by the way, digressing. Okay. Uh, a couple of the Emmy shows that we won for oh, yeah, is yeah. on my YouTube channel. Oh, good. Yes. And, that, and that's just... it's on YouTube, Vita Corimbi. Vita it's Corimbi. my maiden name. C O R. Yes. C O R I M B I. I Honey, I think there's only one Vita. You'll Carimbi. find it. Vita. Corimbi. Vita, V I T A, not Vita. <laughs> Which means life in Italian. Does it? Yes. Oh, okay. La dolce vita, the sweet well, life. Well, no, all in Italian I know is Olive Garden. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that's just all I know. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get the fried mozzarella sticks, please? <laughs> anyway. Honey, we'll never so turn sweet. down those breadsticks. I know, you know. There's nothing mm -hmm. to that. You know, uh, we could talk all day, but we, the show is only so so long. Um, I, I, wanted you, I want you to tell everybody about, because I've seen you a dozen times, in a most amazing play, I think one of the funniest musicals ever written, especially about the subject. And it's called, and you can do the jokes, it's called... And it plays at Harris on the strip nightly. She'll give you the date. Menopause, comma, the musical. <laughs> you go. <laughs> well, uh, the joke is I've been doing menopause so long, I'm finally in it. There you go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've been doing it. I just passed my 18-year anniversary in the show. I'm the only original uh, actress left right. in the show. I believe it. Yeah. So we do eight shows a week, dark on Sundays, right. two shows on Tuesdays and Saturdays, the rest of the time at 8 p.m. At, at, at Harris. At Harris. And it's still, it's the little engine that could. It's amazing. Every we have time, great producers, every great Every time cast. I go see it, Vita, it's like you're doing it for the first time. People say that. It's and it's true. amazing. It's, it's the true. same show. Yeah. But, you know, there's always something to find out. There's always a nuance. There's something you can figure out and, and have fun with that makes it seem new. And especially when you do a show eight eight shows a week that's right the same show every night this i've been i think i've done almost over five fifty five hundred shows, lot of shows. I know. you have to what's find your, something no what's your secret Not for new. making for making it new every time well that's what i mean you just think of different things maybe you'll read you'll you'll read a line differently or you'll react to one of the other actresses yeah. in a different way you you'll you'll find something maybe sing a line just a little bit differently you just right. it's a, it's about nuance well Vita, we could talk for days and days, and oh. we do. We do. Vita is a frequent guest at my house, and I at hers. She throws the I amazing... I only come for the food. I know. <laughs> I know. Because you're the best cook well, ever. Well, I do know how to cook. Bish. I didn't get this yes, body by now. I'm from Texas, you know. Yeah. Texas, where we learn how to saute onions early. <laughs> That's Thank how God. you do it. I have honey. to go to your house because I won't cook. Well, and I no, can't you're cook. pretty good though. But going to Vita's house for a party is a real treat. She's probably on some of your website, some of your stuff, because no. she has the most amazing people just stop by. It's, to play. it's always fun. You own. Can I say this to yeah. the world? You own. I think you said your mother. I forget the story. And. Absolutely gorgeous. It must be worth a million dollars. Steinway oh. Grand Piano, which you had completely refurbished, mm -hmm. sits in it's your beautiful. living room. It's just stunning. Thank you. It's just stunning. Thank and you. Uh, I'm sure you're going to give it to me uh, one day. Anyway, <laughs> not that I even play. I'm kidding. No, that's beautiful. I wanted to say, oh, uh, so besides, I'm like, let's just mention it. You've recently had some knee surgery. Mm hmm. And you had it before, mm -hmm. and you had a new one not long ago. Correct. And, but you're up and walking and doing. You just heal so fast. Well, I think it's a lot of it is up here. You have to just decide. It it's is. you know, it's it's like you have to take your car in to get an oil change and to right. get the tires rotated. It's basically well, the same thing. It's like thing. Liza Minnelli. You know, she had both hips done, both knees. Within weeks or months, she's back up, kicking, doing, dancing. You got to do it, honey. After 5,500 shows, believe me, something's got to go. Got to make it go. <laughs> well, Theda, I want to thank you so. Much. Uh, thank I want to make sure that I didn't I forget to ask mad. you, but I think we talked about everything. We have so much more to talk about. You're coming over later, right? Yep. Oh, sure. I'll have a little beverage for you. Oh, I love it. Well, I don't drink anymore. I don't drink any less either. Oh, shut up. <laughs> 
<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much to my dear wow. sister, and I mean that. Love you. Give it up for my dear sister, Vita Drew, Vita Karim. Be color what you want. It's Vita. <laughs> we'll be right back. Thank you, guys. Hi, my name is Edgar Alejandro. I'm the co-founder of Rising Again Productions. So we've been here in Vegas producing films for the past couple of years, and we've seen our fair share of studios. We've worked in our fair share of studios, and to be honest, WWDB TV has been our favorite by far. John is so welcoming. Uh, the space is wonderful. It's, it's perfect for what we need. We've had rehearsals here. We've had callbacks here. We've had table reads here. So if you're a Vegas creative, or really just a creative coming into Vegas, definitely check out this space, chat with John. I think you'll find that this studio has everything that you'll need as well. Well, that's our show, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for turning in today. Ladies, gentlemen, they, them, he, she, her, however you identify is absolutely fine with me. Norma and I are just old broads, so you can call us whatever you want. But once again, thank you for joining us. I want to thank Vita, my dear sister, for being love here today. You. Catch her soon at the menopause and check her listings because she just has pop-up shows all over the place. You never know. That's right. And so does Norma. All the time. And don't forget, check us out, our all-new magazine, What's Up Dot Vegas. What is it? What's, What's up? up? Vegas. Let's say it together. What's, What's up, up Las Vegas? Vegas? Thank you, guys. I love you. Mwah. That's our show today, kids. Thank you so much for joining in. And I want to thank my guest, Vita Drew, my sister, my true sister, and my other, well, she's a sister too, Jim McCoy, Norma Leah Mann, the bearded lady. Norma's busy. Vita's busy. Look for their schedules. We'll be posting it on our new magazine, which is right there, What's Up Vegas. And don't forget, there's a weekly newsletter. So check in the site often, every day if you have to, because you never know what kind of tea we might spill in the middle of the week. But the magazine's always there with all the things you know about what's going on in Las Vegas with entertainment and drag and, and hotel explosions or whatever it might be going on. It's all going to be in there. And, uh, and my column, the first of every, the first issue of each month, uh, how to Jimmy Vegas. And all that means is how to Jimmy Vegas means replace the word party with Jimmy. I've been around a long time. There's no doubt about that. Uh, so, I don't know every place because I'm an older girl. The young girls have taken over, and I try to hang with them as much as I can. <laughs> but, you know, two and three and four and eight in the morning ain't doing it for me anymore. But these girls know what's going on, and a lot of them are coming on the show soon. So just check in. How to Jimmy Vegas means how to get out there and stay in touch with all the tea that's going on in Las Vegas. Once again, I want to thank Vita Drew, my dear sister, for being on the show today. And, of course, Jim McCoy, normally a man. What a schedule. These guys are busy, busy, busy. So join in next week. We'll be right here with the How to Jimmy Vegas. Hello and goodbye.